for the NBA Finals. Mavs are 0-2. Luka with another 30-point game. Triple-double. Jason Tatum with another game under 20 points. Drew Holiday was their leading scorer. We can't get the job done. The refs don't know how to use the whistles on our side. And I have to watch 48 minutes of the refs being one-sided with the whistle. The Celtics are fucking trash. I have to sit up and watch 48 minutes and drive and kick basketball by the Celtics and we can't guard it. Jason Tatum didn't even have 20 points the first two games and we can't get a fucking win. And I got to put out an Amber Alert for Kyrie Irving because he's non-existent. Luka needs some fucking help. We played better on defense this game, but we still lost. Let's look up the box score, man. Jason Tatum had 18 points. I don't ever want to fucking hear anybody say anything about Jason Tatum being the fucking star of the fucking team or the face of the fucking franchise. 18 points. He hasn't had 20 points in the first two games at all. This video is specifically for Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, I don't know what the fuck is going on with you in Boston. I don't know if they're getting to your head. I don't know if you're still jittery or nervous about the fact that you have to go and play in Boston, but you're the best scorer that I've ever seen in my fucking life. Not having 20 points in the first two games is unfucking acceptable. Luka Doncic is out here playing at 70%, and he's gave me 30 points the first two games. What is your excuse? You have no excuse to not have at least 20 points in the entire fucking series so far. You haven't contributed anything to the fucking success of the team. Luka is out here playing 70%, limping on one leg, and he's still dropping 30. What the fuck is going on? I don't understand. I got to sit here and watch the Celtics fans talk shit and act like they're like that. They're fouling the shit out of us. Every time they fucking come down the court, it's a foul on anything. This shit is rigged as fuck. Every time we come down and play defense, we barely touch them. They get a foul call. When we come down, we get smacked the fuck out of us. We don't get no fucking foul call. I swear to God, if we if we go to Dallas and we lose game three and we go down 0-3, I might lose my fucking mind. Jason Tatum has not even got off yet. They struggled the entire fucking game, and yet we couldn't hold the lead. We couldn't beat them. I tuned into the game with seven minutes left in the first quarter because I'm thinking the game started at 7.30. And we're up 13-6. to As soon as I turn in, the game is quickly 13-12. to We got to make an adjustment. Because every fucking time we come down the court, all I've seen the entire game was them taking open three-pointers. We were lucky they were missing tonight because we would have got blown out by 30 again. I don't understand why they keep getting open threes the entire fucking game. When we get to Dallas, all I know is Kyrie better at least have 30 points. I'm sick of seeing him just go out there and, and struggle or try to get people involved. No, go fucking score 30. He should have the most motivation out of anybody. He used to play for the Celtics. The fans used to talk shit to him when he was in Brooklyn. He's 0-12 versus them now. You haven't won a game in fucking three years. What's the problem? You're so at peace. You're happy. You're in the finals again with Dallas. What's the problem? I don't understand the problem. All of a sudden, you can't dribble the ball. You're flustered out there. This is not the Kyrie that we know. I think this shit is rigged. Because there ain't no way I'm seeing what I'm seeing from Kyrie Irving. He's unguardable. Nobody on the fucking earth can guard him. And you telling me Drew Holiday and Jalen Brown is guarding him? Game three in Dallas.
I think two what Tuesday. We're down 0-2. I'm not gonna lie. I still don't think the series is over yet, but if Kyrie don't come on with it, this shit is as good as is, is over with. I gotta wait and see game three before I just completely give up on them. Not even give up, but just decide that we we lost this. But Luca's doing everything in his power. PJ Washington showed some fight too, so I'm proud of the way he played. He was playing tough defense. Granted, you can't help that the refs is gonna call bullshit foul calls. We playing solid defense out there. And even when his shot not going at the three point line right now, he's still going and being physical in the paint and getting buckets. So I gotta give it I gotta give that to him. D Live, you only had what, two you got your first bucket in the third quarter, that's unacceptable. I get that they playing inside the paint, they want to take away the lobs, but you gotta be physical down there. Gaffer, you play a hell of a game. We all play better defensively. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not I'm not just gonna sit here and be that pissed off at the way that we played because we played great defense. And we had to play not only against the Celtics, but the refs too. Let's be honest. That 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 late when it, we could have brought it down to three on that PJ Washington fast break, he got pushed in the back. And Derek White ball dash hit him across the hand before he could even get the ball up in, to the rim. No foul call. Luka Doncic got slapped in the face a couple times, slapped on the arm and wrist. No foul call. But any fucking time they go down and, and Porzingis do like this with his big fragile ass, because he, I think he hurt again, it's a foul call instantly. We wasn't getting the same respect on both ends. Let's be honest. So we played better. We didn't go out there and get blown out. It was 98 to 105, I think. And the game got away from us a little bit at the end because, you know what I'm saying, a couple, a couple desperate type of plays. So I just got to see more. I got to see more out of Kyrie. Kyrie is the X factor. It's because PJ playing his heart out. PJ from Dallas. So he already had it. He already understand what's going on. He know what time it is. He from Dallas and he playing on, on Dallas in the finals. He already know what time it is. D-Live, you got all the motivation in the world. You lost your mom. I like the way you out there playing, but you got to be better. You got to get in their head. You got to talk. keep talking how you been talking. We didn't got this whole point. We didn't play through the number one defense in the Timberwolves. We didn't went through the MVP, the favorite for the MVP in the West. We beat the Clippers that got three superstars, three Hall of Fame players on their team. And now we're playing the Celtics, who are known to choke in the playoffs when it comes time. And we can't get it done. We're 0-2 right now. We should have at least stole one of those games, but it's not over. We go back to the crib for two games. We got to win those two. We got to win those two. We got to give Lucas some help because he already playing hurt. If we ain't giving him no help, we got to hit threes from the role players. If we're not hitting threes and Kyrie not at least dropping 25, 30, it's GG's. Now I'm sitting here having to ask PJ if he can be the number two option because Kyrie not hooping like he's supposed to. I'm sitting here hoping that PJ can drop 25, 30 now, which he's capable of doing here and there. But in a in a playoff series consistently, I don't know. But Kyrie's supposed to be that guy. I don't know what to say. I don't want to make excuses because we obviously had a chance to win. We were up for a good part of the game. We had it close. We would rather have the game close, ideally, versus this team because they're so used to blowing everybody up. Jason Tatum has not been playing good. So the fact that we can't get a fucking win while he's not playing good is also concerning to me. Um, Jalen Brown. It's trying a little bit too hard for my liking. He's pissing me off too because like why the fuck are you trying hard now when you had all the opportunity in the world to do that shit a couple years ago and win one? Derek White, ugly as shit, balling his ass off. He's pissing me off too. Por Porzingis comes out of fucking nowhere and every time we go to the paint, it's a fucking block. That's pissing me off. I got to give it up for Luca. I got to give it up for Luca. Because no matter how much pressure seems to be put on the team, 
how no much no matter how much momentum the Celtics may have, he never loses his poise. His second 30 point game, and I say he's about at what, 70, 75%, maybe 80%. And he's playing like he doesn't give a fuck about the narrative. He's playing like he don't give a fuck about the crowd. He's playing like he don't give a fuck about nothing but winning. Where the fuck is Kyrie? Pissing me the fuck off. I got weak ass Celtics fans adding me on Instagram and shit. That's from Dallas, which is crazy to me. Trolling me and shit. Now, this is the shit I got to deal with. These little weak-ass Celtics fans, the little kids, trolling in the comment section on Instagram saying how Kyrie is this, Kyrie is that. This shit got me so fucking pissed off, bro. And I didn't even bet no money on the game tonight. I didn't bet any money because... Honestly, first game, Kyrie had me a little shaky. I expected him to come out and have a bounce back game, but just something told me to just just wait until and just see how game two goes. Wait till game three or four. And he stunk it up again. Everything in my mind told me that Kyrie wouldn't have two bad games in a row. But he proved me wrong. Oh my God, bruh. The Stars lost. The Mavs can't lose. I don't give a fuck how we get it done or what we have to do to get it done. But game three, we better fucking win. Because I'm gonna lose my shit if we lose game three and we come away with no wins. If we get swept, I'm not even gonna say be on that because God forbid that happens. Um, yeah, man, we need to shoot better because even though we we the the scores of the game was close this night, we still played pretty bad on offense. Uh, PJ was struggling from from the three. Um, Derrick Jones Jr. was struggling from the three. Everybody was pretty much struggling from the three except Luka. I think it was at one point in the game, Luka had like four or five of our threes, and the rest of the team had only one three. And the Celtics were horrible. They were like one for 12 or some shit like that. And then they started making some miraculous shit after bro hit that weak-ass halftime shot. So we got to get it going. If we don't win, this next game is over with for sure. Because they trying hard as fuck right now to win. Al Horford been playing for years, centuries, and still ain't got a fucking ring. So he hoping and praying that he can get carried to his first one. Fuck. Jason Tatum ain't doing shit. He finna get carried by Jalen Brown to his first fucking ring. And he's supposed to be the star of the franchise. We got niggas binge watching Harry Potter leading up into the finals and they up 2-0. It's fucking embarrassing. We got a Luka Doncic who giving us everything he fucking possibly can with no help from the greatest scorer arguably ever in the NBA. Like what? Niggas is really guarding Kyrie. We not getting no foul calls. Like we definitely look flustered. I don't know what it is. I don't know if the if they the fans are low key saying some shit like on the low and it's getting them off their game and we just trying to be locked in because it's the finals. But something is definitely working in their favor as far as getting us off our pivot. I got us winning game three, man. It's a must win. I got us winning game three, even though we look. Bad the first two games. We look better tonight. But I think Luka is going to be even more motivated to go out and win game three on home court. It's the finals. This is for it all. He understands the the magnitude of the moment. Kyrie does too. I'm going to give him a little bit of more slack. I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not going to say a little bit more slack. I'm going to give him a little bit of slack for an extended period of time. 
the first half of game three is going to tell me everything I need to know about the rest of the series and about Kyrie Irving right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's this whole narrative of him trying to go about the whole Celtics Kyrie thing a little bit too lightly. I don't know if that's what it is, if that's kind of playing into his mental a little bit. I don't know if him being the nice guy instead of the villain is the reason why he's not fucking locked in right now, but I need to see more of him. Make sure y'all like the video, man. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We almost at 1,000 subscribers. I need 103 more subscribers. Hit 1,000 subscribers, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Y'all share the video, man. Fuck with your boy, man. This has been your boy. I'm gone. Fuck you, God, man. This nigga Kyrie is fucking selling, man. The fuck? I gotta listen to Jason Tatum come in the fucking post-game interviews and be humble about the shit like he's actually doing something to contribute to the fucking team.